opportunities in the financial markets are literally like sunsets. They come up to us every single day, especially in the mornings. Now, it is our mission in this video to teach you exactly how to use our trading system to spot opportunities in the financial markets, regardless of what you're trading, whether that's Forex, stocks, cryptos, indices, or even commodities, and show you how you can take advantage of these opportunities every single day. But remember, what we want to teach you here is to find small wins and not go for home runs every day but we'll show you how to find them too. Right, so we're looking at EURUSD. Today is the 15th of November, 2019. So if you're watching this a little bit into the future, head back into time and see exactly how this trade played out for us. But keep in mind that we use trade management. What that means is we might get out early if we find reasons. We are basically reactive and proactive at the same time. What this means is as the chart moves, let's say price action is here, as it moves, we move with it and continue drawing and editing and finding reasons to stay in and stay out. For example, here's a contraction. We would target normally the 50%, but price action could not break, excuse me, price action could not break the 30% here. We found resistance once, resistance twice, 13 EMA. We normally would close this trade out prematurely and get out and save ourselves or secure ourselves some pips. Uh, clearly that trade didn't work out. We made a new contraction and this one is working out. So what are we doing here? We're using a contraction of price, this here, wide at the start and tightens at the bottom. Now, the next thing we use is the Dow chain channel, which we connect with key trading levels where price action finds resistance and support, such as here, resistance, resistance, breakout, support, support, continuation. Pretty simple, right? Very easy to spot. Then, we use the FIB continuation pattern. Now, these trades don't always work out because there's nothing in, that's 100% sure in the financial market. So if somebody tells you that they win 99% of the time, don't talk to them anymore because they're full of, you know, crap. Um, now, what are we doing here? We're targeting basically this next key trading level here, which is not that far, 43 pips away. This is what I mean when you were watching that sunset, when I said small wins, it's much better to focus on the small wins. Be focused on the small wins and be ready to take advantage of those elephant trades when they come. And that's major contractions in price for us. So when we see a major contraction in price or, or let's say this double top over here leading to a key Dow chain channel level, such as this one here, we have the double top. This is a really easy sell. Now you can target any of the Dow chain channel levels and make good pips or contractions, 50%, 61, even 100%. Very easy to be reached. So these are the home runs I'm talking about, but they don't come every day, sometimes not even every week, but they're there. The probability of them coming and succeeding are high. What do we want? We want small wins, consistent daily and weekly wins, growing our account by using the formula of compound interest. Even 5% a week, 5% a week, it's going to turn, you know, a thousand into over ten thousand uh, dollars at the end of the year. That's it. Five percent a week gives you more than a thousand percent ROI. Simple if you just focus on it. So what you want to do here is basically to make things simple. What we do, the first thing we do when we start analyzing the markets is we focus on checking the upside and the downside. So we're going to find reasons why price could go down, both technical and fundamental. And then we're going to look for reasons for upside, both technical and fundamental again. Then we're going to use the Benjamin Franklin decision-making formula. What that means is we're going to put a line down the middle and we're going to list all the reasons why it's not going to work out. And we're going to find them. And let's say we have three. But then we're going to find reasons why the trade should go up. And if we have more, then we go with this side and we buy, such as this case. There is a good reason to hold this. There is a really good reason to hold this because we are expecting a push to the upside because the, do, uh, the, um, the US dollar index is coming off a major contraction on the daily. Check this out. This is what I'm talking about, the home runs. So now we have the momentum to the downside. Whoops, come on, there you go. So now we have momentum to the downside because of this major contraction and the breakout. And on the four hour, we have another little contraction here, which basically hasn't worked out yet completely, but it is working out. Now, the biggest problem we face for the dollar is right there, that 
Dogecoin channel level. So that means there's still room to go down. And let's see in percentage points what that is. That is about 0.16% move. And then if we look at this here and put it up, 0.16 would take us somewhere about 161. So if we find resistance at 161 on Euro USD, we'll probably get out. But a better thing to do here is because the trade is small, we're going to move our stop loss into profit once we break 120%, once if we break 120%. And then we're basically going to either try and compound this trade or because we've secured the profit, we're going to move on to something else such as Euro AUD or GBP USD and we'll find the trade to take. Uh, that's that's going to be an easy thing to do. Uh, but it's all about having a proper plan with specific probabilities and understanding that not every trade is going to work out, accept that fact, that not every trade is going to work out, and then just have a basic system which you follow at all times. But I got a much more important thing or much more important lesson here to explain to you right now. One of the main things that you need to understand as a trader right now is that you're not here for the money. I know it sounds crazy, but you're here to be consistent in the application of your system, which I hope is our system because it works. And then number two is to have a positive mental attitude. So PMA, uh, not PMS, PMA. <laughs> so um, once you have that ready, it all becomes pretty simple. The money is just a side effect of those good deeds done, consistent deeds, specific deeds, following a process, and the money starts flowing. Don't get into the market and focus on the money. And I'm telling you from personal experience, every time I focused on the money when I really needed to make specific amounts of money, I usually lost all of it. Uh, but when I don't focus on the money, when I focus on the application and the process of successful and professional trading, the money just comes. So remember that. That's all I've got for you. If you want to learn more, just head over to Instagram or Facebook or shoot us an email and we'll, uh, well, help you out. More importantly, you can leave a comment on this YouTube video or Instagram video or whatever video because it's going to be uploaded everywhere. Um, and uh, join our community. Thank you and have a good day.